What's up, guys? This is Ruben with MYY News. Uh, just coming in here. Man, we got this Ben and Tenny trade going on. Uh, I'm ecstatic. I think this is great. But now we got to talk about the next move. The Yankees got to get a starter. And honestly, I at this point, we need to go for the very best starter available. It is basically, for the most part, everybody agrees that Castillo is the best starter. Um, the Yankees right now, they need to focus on pitching, pitching, pitching. Oh, love a subtle deal any moment in time. But if we really want to go ahead and make sure we dominate in the playoffs, you got to have two minimum at two ace level pitchers. So we got to get Castillo. I mean, honestly, the Yankees should go all out and making sure they upgrade their starting pitching into dominance. Right now, we have some very solid mid-rotation guys um, behind Cole. If, if that's the case, I mean, look, they got to go and look at and get a Castillo. Look at, t t take a look and see what, what does it cost to get a Montas. Because, you know, can you get both? Can you get both? You know what I mean? Trade away Tyone, maybe. You know, there's different things that you got to look at and see, okay, how can we restart our farm system with what we got, but then also go and get those ace-level pitchers um, so we can keep them away from the Houstons, keep them away from, from these other teams. And uh, and honestly, looking at it now, if we can get, I mean, Castillo, Montas, Castillo, Rodon, if it becomes available. You know what I mean? Uh, but at least we got to get one. And that one really should be Casillo. But at the same time, if you get a Montas, you don't lose anything because Montas has a 1.99 ERA in his last five starts against Houston. So he dominates them, which is our biggest rival. So at the same time, I'm, I'm here thinking, could we get both? Could we get one of them? Um, if we get one of them, I would really like to just go ahead and get Casillo. But... I wouldn't be mad if we got a Montas, but at this moment in time, the Yankees need to go ahead and get starting pitching. They need to get a bullpen arm. Robertson is like the perfect fit. Um, really think that Robertson is the guy to get for the bullpen. We got a whole bunch of sinker ballers, contact pitchers in, in, in the bullpen. They're really decent, but we need to get more of a strikeout arm in the, in the bullpen right now. So Chapman isn't the strikeout arm that he used to be. His control is out of whack. Unless if he gets locked in for the playoffs or something. But right now, we do need the extra arm that strikes out at a high level. And that's Robertson. He strikes out more um, batters than Barlow. He strikes out more ba uh, batters than Bednar. He strikes out uh, a lot more hitters than people realize. And if you look at his numbers today, his strikeout rate is basically on par with one of his best years. And all his baseball savant numbers are red. That usually means that he's going to be good down the stretch as well. Yes, he's 37, but man, he is playoff proven. We've won with him. So I really think that we need to go ahead and get Robertson, get a Castillo. If we can go and, you know, get a little greeting, go and get a Montas on top of that too. Or even go and get um, a Rodon if he becomes available, a left-handed pitcher. With that kind of hard stuff that strikes out at a high level. I mean, those guys right there are what we need as Yankees right now. And then I would even go and check because, you know, if we got Benintendi for what we got, how much would it cost to get a Robertson and a, and, and a Contreras? And I'm not saying that I don't like Trevino. I'm not saying that I, I, that, that I like his... That I don't like his defense. His defense is amazing. He's a good contact bat. But if Contreras can be had at a decent price with Robertson, and it doesn't cost us that much, imagine him in our lineup. That makes us deep, bro. You got Benintendi. I, I like. If you think about it this way: you have DJ leading off, but slide Benintendi hitting second. You get that, that little combo of uh, back in the day, Derek Jeter and Damon. Oh, wow, look what happens. The contact hitter that hits the other way, right-handed, middle infielder, and then you got going and the, the two left fielders, former Red Sox, former Yankees, hitting, you know what I mean? 
Their lefties at contact bats. Then you put Judge at hitting third. You put Rizzo hitting fourth. You can slide down Rizzo hitting fifth and once Stanton comes back. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We need to, like, these guys, you got to think about it. Judge right now, if you put two men on base in front of him, this man is driving him in. And it makes it harder for pitchers to pitch at him. So I'm just saying. And you put Contreras down. You, that, that makes that makes IKF the number nine hitter. It's got to be one of the better number nine hitters in the league. Yes, he doesn't hit for much power or anything. He doesn't get on base at a huge clip, but he does, and he gets timely hits. So that's what I'm saying. So the Yankees right now need to go and get a Castillo, dominate. You put him behind Cole as the second pitcher. If you get a Rodon out of nowhere, oh, you got a number three right there. Boom. You got Nestor coming out of the bullpen um, or starting the fourth game. You got Montgomery as well. I mean, we got plethora of options here, guys. So I'm just saying, we already got Severino. He's going to be in the bullpen most likely in the playoffs. And honestly, he's going to increase our bullpen depth. He's going to make us more dominant out of the bullpen because when Severino was in the bullpen, he was lights out. So you got, we got to make these moves. You put Severino in the bullpen, have him become a setup man for, for Clay Holmes. You end up putting um, a Nestor in the bullpen if you want to start with Montgomery in the, in the fourth game. You know what I mean? Or have them back piggyback each other in the playoffs or something. But the Yankees right now should really load up on dominant starting pitching. Castillo is the must get with Robertson. Checking on Contreras. You know, keep him away from other teams. I'm just saying. Um, but this is this is what I think. We need to get a, 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 a Castillo. And we need to get a Robertson. These are my main targets right here. And then you go in and check in and say, hey, yo, by the way, what if you include a, a Contreras? What does that look like? So tell me what would you guys think. Like the video. Share it, please. Spread it like wildfire. Subscribe. And comment down below. I need to know what you guys think. I do like to comment on the videos. So please leave a comment. Let me know. I want to I I want dialogue. Tell me what's up. All right? Well, you guys have a wonderful day. Ruben from NYY News. Peace.